We have talked a lot about essential services in the last couple days and what businesses are considered essential. But what if you are a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic and you're working overnight hours and you still need your pet sitter or your doggy daycare to take care of your four-legged friend? Jacob Reynolds has the story. At Dog Days in Columbia, owner Patrick Hall says they're still open, caring for furry friends of all sizes, but there have been some changes to procedure. We, how we handle the dogs, um, how we uh, interact with our clients, usually what we've done is we've limited how many people can come into our lobby and how many people are kind of interacting also with our clients and handling the dogs. Hall has owned the business since 2006. He says besides the 2008 recession and 2015 flood, he's never experienced anything like this. Boarding is down about 80 to 90 percent, and daycare business has decreased 50 percent. But they were deemed essential to continue helping pet owners on the front lines. Uh, we have a couple clients that are actually nurses. Um, we have one client that has actually gone up to New York to help with the situation up in New York, uh, New York City. So we, they brought their dog uh, the other week and we've kept their dog and we're actually going to keep their dog for several more weeks. Um, we've also had a couple clients that are nurses here at the VA hospital. They've helped other customers like corrections officers and folks working at home that don't want barking on conference calls. Hall says they're offering discounts to essential workers and are happy to help. One thing that I enjoy is I enjoy helping people that are helping other people. Hall says they can keep going a few more months with small business loans and other help, but they hope people can start traveling again this summer. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Well, it's certainly awesome that they are staying open for everybody who needs them. And in the meantime, Hall says this is a really good time if you're working from home to bond with your pets, teach them new tricks, and then get them trained in the way they might have not been trained before. And we have definitely had our fair share of bonding time with Mulligan, Darcy. Thanks, Andrea. Hey, Mulligan. <laughs>